only constant in life is change. That's one thing for sure is going to happen. We all have seen many changes in our life. History has shown that every change has brought in prosperity and opportunity for the generations to come. If you recognize this picture, if you recognize tech in, you are a generation Z or generation alpha. If you recognize the tech out, you are a generation older than or maybe way older than generation Z and generation alpha. What is generation Z? Kids who are born late 90s or up to 2010. And generation alpha is anyone who's born after 2010. Depending upon the age group we are in, we have seen and we've been very kind and we've been very fortunate to see the transformation of technology right in front of our eyes. We have seen the snail mail getting converted into email and now instant messages. Generation before us had to really, really plan so that they can look at the catalog and they can order the gifts so that they can be arriving in time before the Christmas. We saw the generation where phone calls, an international phone calls, to make a phone call you had to wait for hours and a what you could just talk for a few minutes because cost was a bigger barrier. Personally, it took my dad seven years before we could get the first landline or the phone connection at our home. The most surprising thing was when I showed my nine-year-old boy a transistor or the radio, some of you may not even recognize it. And he was like, Dad, what is this? The technology has proven over the time. It has made the efficient. They have made people more smarter. But they all have come at the expense of losing few jobs. What does that really mean? What we mean is today we can order something, it gets delivered an hour, wherein the previous generation had to plan for months in advance. Previous generation had to send a letter, wait for months, but right now, today, we could get that same information transmitted over the continents in a subsequent time. If you can look at the ease of life, online Uber ordering or the ordering of a food or in the pandemic the getting our groceries delivered by Instacart or Amazon these were all technological changes what actually we did why we are able to do these things more efficiently today is because of the enablement of technology but what does that mean these technological changes has come at a cost of losing few jobs but at the same time, this has created far more bigger job opportunities. The question is simple. Can machine replace human? And why are we are even talking about it? Because today, the reason we are becoming more efficient in the process where letters used to take months to arrive, today technology has brought them to instant messaging. And that's where it is, which means someone from post office may or may be losing a job. Rather than worrying about, will I have a job? Let's prepare ourselves. What job would be the future? How I can be more relevant and how I can remain in the job market where I need the most. Very interestingly, there's a research firm called McCriddle. I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly from Australia. They did a comparison of three generation, generation Z, generation alpha and then they did a study in the 10 distinct areas it was very very interesting to see the combination of focus on education versus attitude versus how technologies are changing right from speech to text to gestures and so and so forth they did in 10 distinct area why it is important to know what are the trends going to come we all live in silicon valley startup is evident they are important and why they are important because they look into the future they look into the future that what's going to come 10 years from now 
And that's why the question is again, will I have a job? If you look at the behavioral changes, we that technology will continue to play a key role in our life. Computer programming is going to be like what in 1970s it was about reading. If you could not know reading, imagine what your life would be. The same thing is going to happen if you do not know programming. You can, I can really bet that you will have a tough time. Let's look at due to the power of automation and let's talk about why automation is key. Now, today when we talk about Uber, the repetitive mundane human tasks were replaced by technology and that's the reason we are able to order the fast uh, the food very fast. Let's look at what is going to be the futuristic trend. Now, let's look at the trend so that we can prepare ourselves better. Most of you will end up working in a job which today does not even exist. The reason being, when I was growing up, Uber was not existing, a data science as a stream was not existing, and at the same time, selfless driving was not existing. The job is a new entire industry which is going to be proliferating in front of you. You will be the leaders in that because you guys are digital native. The jobs like nanotechnologies, jobs like cybersecurity, autonomous driving is going to be the key part. It brings back to the same question, how do I prepare myself for the change to come? The anticipation of automation has led to the focus which means for the 21st century, the skill of constant learning is going to be important. What does that mean? The adaptable to the changes is going to be important. We are talking about a generation that will live longer because you guys are more healthier. You focus more on the food, plant-based food. You took care of yourself as a health. You will be learning longer, which means you will be in school longer, which means you will start working later in your life, but you will be living way longer than most of the generation and you will be richer compared to because you'll be saving a lot more. As a generation Z, you are an independent thinker. You have seen adapting larger changes because you have seen that in front of your eyes. Hence autonomy in the workspace will be key. Using technology is going to be key for you because human tend to have a notion where they want to not do repetitive and mundane tasks. You, you would love to have somebody assisting you at work. And that's the reason the whole notion of digital worker is going to be important. Companies like Automation Anywhere, UiPath is going to do the breakthrough for you at work because you will have your own digital assistant helping you out. Due to this future business processes, the job duties will will have minimum direct human interaction. What does that mean? Employees will focus more on the perspective of being more empathetic, more caring, rather than the traditional way of just assigning the task because you will have machine doing some other thing. Don't take automation as a threat. Take automation as an opportunity that a tool that will improve your day-to-day -day life because if you don't do the repetitive mundane task you have a lot more time to spend with your family friends and you can do enjoyable time in your lifetime people will not stick to one job you will be doing multiple jobs because you may want to spend some of your time doing photography or you may want to do a, a starbucks barista in the evening but the, during the daytime you might be doing a computer programming the reason is artificial intelligence is going to help you be more productive and efficient. So we all agree that machine can take jobs. We all agree because today they have taken. But let's look at what jobs machine cannot take it. Where we don't have a lot of thinking involved. We don't have a lot of emotional things involved, which means computer can take the jobs where they are repetitive and there is a pattern because computers can learn for that. The jobs like fast food preparation, there are robots doing it. Coffee preparation, barista can be done. Data collection, processing, and those things. And possibly in our lifetime, a truck 
or a selfless driving. Tesla is already talking about it. But think about it. Why we as a human are different. Where do we draw a line of a differentiator between we as a human and any other species like we are empathetic, we are emotional. We can make a decision at a runtime without even knowing a situation from the past. We don't need a deja vu moment. We can always be an independent thinker. Hence job which will always be uh, in demand where you need caring, empathetic and more human in loop which means more critical thinking. Hence the jobs requires more and more of human cannot be automated. What does that mean? Which would need to make robots, software, automation, and they will need people to do that. And that's the, those are the jobs cannot be taken away. Concluding in this thing, what I would suggest is be a constant learner, be the change maker, and be the person who are ready to adopt the change. All I would say is take one step at a time, but make a huge difference and be a lifelong learner. Thank you so much.